Real quick, the winner of the CX100 and Bowens Mount Adapters are Michael Rigdon of Woodstock, Georgia, and James Gomez of Phoenix, Arizona. Congratulations. And now for a new light that just came out that I like a lot more. What is this called? This is a X60. So this is like the, this is a 100, this is the 60 version. And uh, it's thicker, but it's smaller. Uh, so this is the 100, this is the 60. They just came out with this thing. It's kind of cute, it's kind of small. I like the size. Here's the G60. I don't think it's that much smaller, really. That way it is, but that way, I don't think it's that much smaller. They're both 60 watts. And speaking of 60 watts, here's the new small rig RC60B. This is also 60 watts, just like these things. But look at the size difference. And guess what? This little thing is brighter than this by about a quarter of a stop, even though they're both 60 watts. But this one has a built-in battery and it has the optional, you can put a uh, USB on the back of it and use some other ones. Look how much bigger this is. It's huge compared to this thing. Here's my favorite well making. This is the one that I've been using for forever. This has a battery and a little sm a smaller NP battery you can put on the side. You can use a battery uh, from the X100 on here. It's one of the batteries you can use. Goes on the side. So this is what it looks like with a battery when you have these two things together. I guess they're about the same size if you look at it. This battery is a lot bigger and heavier and, uh, than this one, but they both run for 30 minutes, which is kind of interesting. Um, but, you know, I like how this is one com tight little package. It doesn't have like all these weird angles and clunky things, but this is all built in. This one is kind of, you know, when people say, look how small this thing is, they're talking about this. That's what they're talking about. But there's no battery, there's no reflector. This is, you can't just go by this thing. You gotta put the reflector on it, you gotta put the battery on it, and now you can start comparing it to other things, you know, for what the size is. But it's still pretty small. I still like this thing a lot. Here you can see the size differences between the four of them and how much bigger the uh, small rig is. Now this battery that it comes with does not have to be attached to the thing to work it. It also has a USB plug that you can use to power it from a distance. You can have this battery at the bottom of the light stand so it's not top heavy. And there's other ways to power this thing too. You don't need this battery. These batteries are pretty notorious for not working after a while. They might have fixed it. Um, I know everybody, I, I've had to send this thing in, but a lot of other people have had the same problem. These batteries last for five times and they send them in. I think they have a version two now where they fix the battery problem. I'm not sure, I hope so. Uh, but these are big and heavy and clunky. You can power it with a USB power bank. There's other ways of powering it too, which a lot of people don't even know. You can actually use an NP battery. The only thing is the NP battery is only like 30 watts. So when you turn it on, it'll go up to 30 watts, which is 50% for this thing. Remember, this is a 60 watt uh, light. So this will give it 30 watts, so you'll get 50% power, which is pretty good for a little battery like that. And if you use a DTAP battery, there's different kinds. This one, this Z Cine or whatever it's called, this is actually a 45 watt battery. So that'll give you 45 watts, which is 75% of the light output of this. If you use this one, <clears throat> the small rig 99, this will give you 100% power from this is great. Here's the small rig 99. Plugging it into the bottom here. Okay. I can't see what I can't see what that says. It's so small. 65 watts, 100%. So, here you go. So, I'm powering this with a DTAP battery that's a small one. It's a small rig 99. You can put ever long a cord you want. Make sure I suggest always use a 100 watt USB-C cord, so you don't have to worry which cord is what, what's the, the wattage of each one. Now that's if you're using the USB jack on the DTAP batteries, you'll get 45 watts out of this one, 65 of this one, but you can get 100%, you can get 100 watts out of even this one if you use this magic device here, which I will cover in another video. Basically, you plug this in to the DTAP jack here, and then you plug your USB into here, and then you plug the other end of the USB into the bottom of the light, and presto, you get 100 watts out of this thing that only gave you 45 before from using the USB jack. So if you use the DTAP with this special device, which I will cover in another video, you can get 100 watts 
out of pretty much any DTAP battery. Even out of a tiny little DTAP battery like this little Kame TV here, you can get 100 watts of power out of this little thing. That's really cool. So you can power it so many different ways or you can plug it in the wall. The thing I don't like about this is, notice the screen. You see that screen? Compare that, <clears throat> I can't even tell what it says. Compare that with this thing. This is the original 60 watt. Uh, come on, here we go. Let me turn it down. Look at that screen compared to that screen. I can't even tell what that says. I need glasses to see what that says. This thing, I can tell what it says. That is ridiculous. Come on, who's gonna have a magnifying glass to see what that says? At least use this screen. I mean, it, it, come on, if you're gonna switch 60s, at least use the screen from the old one, because I can read this. And uh, I kind of like this, I know I, this thing, again, the thing I don't like about this design, which they did with the 100, which they seem to keep doing, is they stick the battery on the side. Like now, if you put it on, on a light stand, it's like heavy, it's side heavy, and it's going gh, 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 like that. Like, why don't they have it so the battery is on the bottom? Like, you know, so it's centered. At least the heavy weight is centered. Or have a, some kind of a quarter 20 thread on the battery, like here, so you can have it like that. That would make more sense. And they did the same thing with this. They have the heavy light on the side. So I think, you know, why don't they at least have it so it's like that? That would make sense, right? Because it's centered then. But they need as much fan uh, space as possible, the uh, cooling space. So that would block one third of the cooling area. I, I understand that, but I'm just saying, or put it on the back like this, or on the bottom, or make a handle out of it, but don't have it on the side, because then it's like, ugh, ugh. It uses the same reflector that the 100 does with the tab that breaks off easily, so after you've used this a few times, that little tab will probably break off, and this thing will be permanently on here, and you'll be hating it. You can also use the Bowens mount thing with this, but like I said, it creates a narrow beam in your softbox. I know that's why this is in here. Having to put this in here makes your light go down to one half of what it was before. So now you have a very weak light, very weak softbox light, because of this. I told them, I said, take out that reflector and just make the mount without the reflector. So the LED is flush with the Bowens connector. I don't know if they'll listen or not, but they're asking me for my feedback, Ugh, which is kind of cool. So I hate this thing. I would personally just use these things on an umbrella. $200, I think, and the RGB version is $250. The X60 is a tiny bit brighter than the G60, about a quarter of a stop, not really noticeable. But here's where it gets interesting. From my measurements, the X60 is almost as bright as the X100. I like both the X60 and the G60 because they're really small, but the X60, you can stick a battery on the side, which is what I always wanted. I kind of like the original one, actually, if there was a way to stick a battery on it but this is I don't know I like the packaging and look at this one I look at one knob as an X and one as an O it's got the orange stripe it's white I like this I even like the way it mounts to a stand it has uh, this this thing which collapses look at this, this is clever see how it, it collapses sideways like that and then you put it in position and it has a quarter 20 thread here so you can stick it on a stand and then you can also go up or down with it which is great and you can, of course, turn it. So this is genius how they made this little thing. This doesn't. This just has a quarter 20 in the bottom. I mean, it is a little narrower that way. Oh, and they also come with this thing. I hate these things, but they come with it. It's this diffusion thing that goes over the front. I made a video about these. I don't like these because they... This does not make your portrait lighting softer. It lights... This is kind of like a light bulb. And what this does is send light in all directions evenly. So you can light up a whole room with soft light. But if you want to do a portrait, like a person's face, this isn't going to make the face any softer. I would rather take this off. I would take this off and just stick this thing wide open on an umbrella and you'll have the softest light. All right, <sighs> toys for the day. There's my toy collection for the day. All right, I don't know if you got something out of it. I hope you did. Wave, wave goodbye, Funko. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.